The conventional belief is that Christopher Columbus discovered America in 1492, opening the doors to European colonization. But today we are diving deep into a fascinating topic that challenges traditional narratives as recent archaeological findings and historical research have shed light on a different narrative, revealing that Africans may have reached the Americas long before Columbus set foot on its shores. Get ready to discover the untold truth that has reshaped our understanding of history. There are multiple claims to the discovery of America, including the Vikings who claimed that they had colonized Iceland and Greenland in 950 CE. The Irish claim that Saint Brendan, an Irish monk, had sailed to America in the 6th century in his traditional coracle. While the Welsh have put forth their own claimant, named Madog Ab Owain, who is said to have landed there in 1170. The Scottish Earl Henry Sinclair is said to have reached Westford, Massachusetts in 1398. And yet these popular claims cloud the story of how Africans were the first to step foot on American soil. To understand the possibility of Africans reaching America thousands of years before Columbus, we need to recognize the rich maritime traditions of African civilizations. Many ancient African cultures such as the Phoenicians, Egyptians, and Nubians had advanced seafaring capabilities, sailing across vast distances to trade and explore. A painting derived from Nubian pottery shows a long-hauled boat, or papyrus raft, which dates back to 3000 BCE. Another painting from 3500 BCE was found in Chad, which shows a bird's eye view of a river boat. The Africans of Guinea also had dug out canoes hewn from gargantuan trees from the Congo forest. As Portuguese captain Pacheco Pereira wrote, in this country can be found the largest canoes made of single trunks, some so large that they could hold at least 80 men. In 1920, Leo Weiner, a renowned historian and linguist of Harvard University, published his book Africa and the Discovery of America. In this he mentioned that Columbus had written in his journal, black-skinned people had come from the southeastern boats, trading in gold-tipped spears. Columbus had sent samples of these spears back on a ship to Spain, and their examination revealed that the ratio of gold, copper, and silver alloy were identical to the spears being forged in West African Guinea. Apart from the fact that the outlines of African and South America fit together like an almost perfect jigsaw puzzle, their proximity to each other is another important factor. The closest tips of each continent are less than 1,900 miles apart. This makes Africa the closest inhabited area to the Americas. Many successful modern attempts have already illustrated that ancient African boats would have been able to make the voyage within a few weeks, even without oars, rudders, or sails. The prevailing wind patterns and ocean currents would have contributed to the quick voyages as they all blow from Africa to South America, essentially acting like a conveyor belt from the west coast of Africa to the Caribbean, the Gulf of Mexico, and the northeastern corner of South America. Later, the Europeans used their same winds and currents during the transatlantic slave trade. If you're still skeptical, stay tuned till the end to know about the archaeological finds that point to African presence in America. One of the most intriguing pieces of evidence comes from ancient Egypt and Nubia, which had extensive contact with each other and engaged in trade and cultural exchanges. Another clear indicator of transatlantic travel is the shocking discovery of American narcotics like nicotine and cocaine in Egyptian mummies. In 1992, German toxicologist Svetla Balabanova reported the findings which suggest that such compounds made their way to Africa through transatlantic trade that would predate Columbus's arrival by thousands of years. The Olmec civilization in Mesoamerica, which thrived around 1200 to 400 BCE, exhibited distinct African physical features, such as wide eyes, broad noses, full lips, and even Ethiopian-type braided hair. Various other ancient American civilizations, including the Mayans, Aztecs, and Incas, displayed cultural and architectural elements that bear striking resemblances to African cultures. This suggests the possibility of an African connection, potentially through ancient maritime trade and exploration. In 2008, a stone carving known as the Negroid figure was found at an Olmec archaeological site in Mexico. The carving depicts an individual with distinct African features, further supporting the theory of early African presence in the Americas. Since then, 16 other colossal stoneheads measuring up to 11 feet in height, weighing 30 to 40 tons, and generally depicting helmeted black men have been found in many parts of Mexico. 
For years, Eurocentric archaeologists have turned a blind eye to the discovery of artifacts from Egypt, in the Americas, and even Egyptian place names in the Grand Canyon. Thank you for joining us on this captivating journey through history. Comment below and let us know what you thought.